Nova Litness in Bang. Welcome back, everybody. And this is uh, a, a double story on, on two uh, things that are a little bit older. Now, we talked about the uh, Drake Bell situation um, a while back. We said we do a follow up on it. He did wind up pleading guilty. Um, we'll read through this article over here. But the other thing I want to talk to you guys about is Bill Cosby's uh, release from prison, right? Because one thing I think is an example of the legal system working exactly as intended um, in the uh, Drake Bell situation. Um, and the other is the legal system at its absolute fucking worst, right? Um, but let's start with the positive and then we'll go into the negative, right? Uh, Jared Drake Bell pleaded guilty on Wednesday to two charges related to crimes involving a minor. The former Nickelodeon star known for his role on Drake and Josh entered his plea virtually in uh, Cuyahoga County Court. The 34-year-old entered a guilty plea uh, uh, to two charges, one count of attempted child endangerment, a fourth-degree felony, and one count of disseminating matters harmful to juveniles, a first-degree misdemeanor. The charge stemmed from an incident involving a 15-year-old Canadian girl who attended a concert at the Odeon Concert Club in Cleveland in December 2017. According to, uh, well, sorry. According to Cleveland police, Bell violated his duty of care during the event. Though it's not clear exactly what occurred, the teen subsequently filed a complaint with Canadian police in October 2018. Canadian police then contact authorities in Cleveland. Um, so uh, I guess the best way of providing context to that is um, he had been, uh, I guess the best way of trying to groom this girl, right? Um, they had been engaging in appropriate conversations because she was uh, 15 and Drake Bell was like 30 something. Um, and she had gone back home, went over to her local police department, and showed the messages and the things that Drake Bell had been sending her. This investigation took uh, about three years, I want to say, and it leads to Drake Bell uh, getting arrested, uh, getting charged, and then pleading guilty. Uh, when Bell was initially charged earlier this month, he posted a $2,500 bond and pleaded not guilty. When CBS Cleveland affiliate... Uh, whatever, uh, reached Bell's attorney after his client's hearing. He said that all we have to say today is that all questions will be answered at the time of sentencing. Bell's sentence is scheduled for July 12th. A victim impact statement may also be read at that time. The attempted child endangerment charge uh, carries a maximum sentence of up to 18 months in prison and a possible fine of up to $5,000. The sending matters harmful to juveniles charge carries a maximum sentence of up to six months in county jail and a possible fine of up to $1,000. Now look, um, I really hope he does get the maximum sentence here. The fact of the matter is he didn't actually wind up um, going forward with any of the activities with the kid. But he had been planning to, and he was sharing very inappropriate uh, uh, things with the child, right? So things had just gone a little bit differently that day. We'd be looking at a very different case. But again, you know, the reason why I like this uh, story as far as like the ending and everything is because um, nothing happened to the girl in physically. Um, mentally, I'm sure that there's a lot of uh, things she she's got to be dealing with now. But... Physically, she's okay. Um, this happened uh, when she was in Ohio. She lives in uh, Canada. And she was able to uh, get the Canadian police to work with the uh, local police in Ohio. Uh, and they ran the investigation. And the dude is facing an actual uh, 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 becoming a felon. And that that's really damaging. And he's going to have a record, which is all good things, right? Because if someone will report him later for doing something with a kid or something inappropriate with a child, he has a record, right? So like he's, uh, this is all good stuff, right? Um, it's been handled in the court of law. You can't argue uh, uh, this or that. He's pled guilty to the crimes involving the minor. This went on for um, roughly, like I said, about three uh i guess uh three and a half years december 2017 um now but well, we should talk about this uh drake bell reveals he's married has a son after pleading guilty to attempted child endangerment um that woman uh should take the son and run the fuck away uh and i'm pretty sure it would be too hard to get custody if uh drake bell winds up becoming a convicted felon <laughs> just saying um, now, let's talk about the justice system just being 
garbage, trash, bonkers bullshit. Uh, Bill Cosby released from prison after conviction vacated. His conviction was overturned. Bill Cosby was released from prison Wednesday after his conviction on SA charges was overturned by Pennsylvania's highest court. The 3 year old Cosby walked out of the State Correctional Institution, Phoenix, in Montgomery County, Pennsylvania, Wednesday afternoon, officials told ABC News. Uh, now, this whole thing, I don't want to read the statements from the attorneys when we talk about, you know, justice for all Americans, all the other nonstop bullshit. Um, this is, I, I, I wanted to show you, like, this is the problem, right? Um, where is it? So the Supreme Court overturned the um, conviction on appeal. Uh, and this kind of goes into why that happened. Last year, the Pennsylvania Supreme Court agreed to hear two points in Cosby's appeal to overturn his 2018 sexual assault conviction. Uh, in a ruling released Wednesday, the state Supreme Court concluded that Cosby's persecution should never have occurred due to a deal the comedian cut with former Montgomery County prosecutor Bruce Castor, who agreed not to criminally prosecute Cosby if he gave a disposition in a civil case brought against him by Constant. So that is it fucking nuts. Uh, during that deposition, Cosby made incriminating statements that Castor's successor, uh, Kevin R. Steele, used to charge Cosby in 2015. Constant said in her statement that the decision to overturn the conviction resulted from a procedural uh, technicality. Um, like I, I, no disrespect to uh, uh, Constant or anything, but um, it's not a procedural technicality. The fact of the matter is this Bruce Castor guy, for whatever reason, offered the guy up full immunity if he would give a deposition. And Cobb said, okay, fine. And then you can't charge me for anything I say. And then he said some shit. And yeah, I don't blame the new prosecutor for doing everything they could to put Cosby in prison um, because I understand what the guy's admitted to doing it. Um but this Bruce Castor guy, uh, a total piece of shit for that. Uh, but, I, I mean, I guess I don't know how to put it because without those statements, would they have ever been able to actually convict Cosby, right? And I'm going to guess that the answer is probably no. Now, one thing I got to mention before we end with the video is apparently Bruce Castor is the same guy who... Uh, defended uh, Donald Trump from his uh, second impeachment trial in 2021. So that's incredible. Also, he turns out to be the attorney general of uh, Pennsylvania, the acting attorney general. So, um, yeah, if you're in Pennsylvania, leave the state now. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, but look, Drake Bell's conviction, uh, Drake Bell pleading guilty. This is what you want to see. You want to see people get criminal records for these things. And Look, maybe it's not what I want to see him charged with, obviously, but the fact of the matter is this is a difficult case and he's pleading guilty to everything. Uh, the, the the child endangerment um, and the uh, disseminating matters harmful to juveniles, right? Um, that's that's what he did. He's being convicted. That's great. Uh, there's a criminal record. The, nothing physically happened with the uh, uh, victim in question, so... Um, other than, you know, the things that I would imagine she's dealing with, like therapy and everything, uh, all's well that ends well here, uh, for the most part. Obviously, I think there's much worse things that should happen to Drake, but um, say those for another time. But in the Cosby situation, this is an example of just everything being kind of broken, right? The former prosecutor, not the new prosecutor, offered some ridiculous deal to Bill Cosby and you know basically guaranteed him immunity so now bill cosby uh can't face any of those charges because the prosecutor said as long as you admit to these things and give this disposition i won't charge you for anything so he's like, okay well, i'll admit to to doing a bunch of rape <laughs> fuck there you go and now the guy's like fucking free um uh, i mean bill cosby's still a piece of shit he was still convicted you can overturn the conviction but at the end of the day um the statements he made in that a deposition well they can't be used against him in a court of law they are still legal statements that he did make that do prove his guilt for the rape so um at least there's that i mean it, that that taint will never go away from his name and it never should
Uh, but I, I don't want to know what you guys think in the comments section about both the Drake Bell case and the Bill Cosby case, because obviously I think one is an example of everything being worked right. I think the other is an example of what happens when you have um, bad people in uh, law enforcement. But you can tell me if you think I'm wrong in the comments section below, and I'll go ahead and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.